High Level just dropped a massive update to their automation builder. In this video, I'm gonna break down how you can actually access the new automation builder, what's new, why it matters, and how it makes complicated automations so much easier to build out now. Now, this new automation builder is just another great example of why I love High Level so much. Anytime that there's a new tool out there that I'm tempted to go start using because it might have a better functionality in a certain area versus high level, high level will make an update or create a new feature to match or beat that tool. So let's waste no time and jump right into it so you can see the complete breakdown of the new automation builder. All right, so first things first, how do you actually turn on this magical new automation builder? Because there is some work that you have to do on the back end in order to access it as it is still in a lab mode right now. But no need to fear because I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually come up here to the top left and you're going to switch out of a sub account if you are in a sub account to your agency view. So what you're going to go ahead and do is just click here and then switch to agency view right here. It's this blue button. Then once you're in the agency view, you're going to come down here to the bottom left and go to settings. And then once you're in settings, you're going to come down here to the bottom left once again and find this nifty little labs button. So when you click labs, you're going to see two options here. So you're going to see agency and then sub account. So you're going to go ahead and click on sub account and you're going to scroll down and you're going to find the new advanced builder for workflows. And then you also want to activate this one as well. Workflows, trigger enhancements and workflow overview dashboard. So go ahead and activate both of these features. It's going to have you select what sub account you want to activate it in. You can do one, you can do all of them, but once that's activated, then we're going to go back to that sub account, go back into our automations, and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, now that you've gotten the secret passageway of how to actually unlock and access this automation builder, let's go ahead and actually take a look at it for the first time. So on the left side here, we're going to go ahead and click into automation, and we're just going to click into a random automation here. So we're just going to this booking appointment confirmation automation. And this is where you're gonna get your first sneak preview of the advanced builder. But in the top left here, uh, if you don't see this new version right here, this is where you toggle between it. So if I go back to the standard builder, this is what you're probably used to seeing, right? Not as cool, the UI is not as, as nice and fancy, but uh, no need to fear because you can just select the drop down here and go straight to the advanced builder. Now, there are a lot of things that I wanna highlight in here, but I wanna start with my absolute favorite thing uh, about this upgrade. And that is the ability to add in multiple triggers to one automation. Yes, I said that right. Adding in multiple triggers to one automation. So let me just talk about a use case here so you can paint the picture. So in the top right here, I can go ahead and just hit add trigger and we'll just put in a random trigger. It doesn't really matter. Again, this is just an example, but we'll go here. We'll drag that in. And now you'll see this workflow is now going to begin whether someone is uh, confirming an appointment or they get a contact tag added to them, right? So one use case for this, say that you are running an ads agency and you know you have Facebook ads uh, that are being filled out, forms that are being filled out, I should say, and Google ad forms that are being filled out. Well, before, what did you have to do, right? You had to build separate automations so that when those forms were filled out, those would be triggered and then the automations would follow after those forms would fill out. Well, now with this new advanced automation builder, you can come in here and say, hey, great, I want this same workflow for all of these, but I want it to trigger if the Facebook forms filled out or the Google forms filled out or whatever other form is filled out, right? Maybe it's even your just own website form on your website. Once that's filled out, we'll go ahead, trigger this workflow, and then we will get that appointment booked. So that is just such an amazing upgrade to the new automation builder here on high level. Now, with that being said, what's even more neat about this is you have the ability to build an automation within an automation. And let me show you what this looks like here. So I can go ahead and actually, let me just delete this right here. So you'll see here, this trigger was tying into this workflow, but say, I want to keep this separate, right? Say I want to go ahead and do something completely different with this different uh, trigger that I have here. I can go ahead and say, Hey, I'm going to actually send an SMS. You know, once I put a contact tag on here, let me just go ahead and just do it. Hi, it's me, Nate. Perfect. <laughs> um, so I'll go ahead and save that. And now boom, I have uh, a whole nother workflow being built out here. Now I can go ahead and highlight this. I'll move this down a little bit. Now, that's another feature that I love. You can highlight <laughs> and kind of move or edit around uh, different pieces of the automation at once. But let me go up here into the top left and start running through some of these different functionalities. So you can put comments in here, right? Hi, it's me. Nice to meet you or nice to see you, I should say. So if you're working on different automations with team members, you can go ahead and collaborate right there. But I love this new sticky note feature because what you can actually do, let me zoom out here a little bit. 
is this is a great way to actually organize your automations. So let me go ahead and put a sticky note right here and say I want it to be a part of this workflow. And then let me go ahead and put another sticky note here and we'll make it a part of this workflow, right? So I can come in here and say, hey, um, for this one, this is, uh, you know, confirming the appointment. And for this one, it's sending a thank you text or whatever it is, right? <laughs> Again, you can edit this around and then you can make this look pretty, right? I'll go ahead, increase the font size here. I'll bold this. And now just like that, right? I'm staying really organized and I can say, okay, so this trigger leads into this workflow. This one leads into this and you can just, again, stay very organized there. So love the sticky note feature. The next thing about this, and I purposely didn't attach a calendar to this workflow because I wanted to see, see, I wanted you to see what this looks like. So on the left side here, um, you'll see, you can actually check for errors within the automation. So I can come here and it's going to say, Hey, Nate, um, you know, this is a, a, a workflow that is supposed to be tied to you know, appointment bookings, but there's not a calendar found. Um, so how are we actually supposed to go in and, and know when appointments booked if there's no calendar found? Okay, great. Let me go in, make sure that calendar is attached so I can make sure that that automation is working properly. So again, just a really neat feature to, to make sure that everything's working properly along the way. Another thing that I absolutely love about this new automation builder is this stats view right here. So let's say that you are doing a reactivation campaign, right? Um, if you're not familiar with a reactivation campaign, uh, you know, we'll do these with a lot of businesses where, you know, maybe they give us a list of previous customers. We'll go ahead, send out SMSs to them uh, to give them maybe a special deal or something to get them back into the door. So with this, when you're building out a workflow, if there's email or SMS steps along the way, it will come in here and say, Hey, these are, these are how these different SMSs are performing the open rates, the click rates, um, the delivered rates, whatever it might be. So as you are continuing to tweak and make your automations more powerful, you'll know exactly what steps you need to go in and adjust, which you could see before, but now this just gives you a really good, clean and easy view to see some of those usage stats for emails that you're sending out, et cetera. Next part of this is the workflow switcher. And this is something small, but again, we love the small changes just to improve efficiencies. So before, if you remember, you would have to back out of a workflow in order to go into an another workflow. Well, now you can just switch right between workflows right in here. So you can actually click between different workflows, build them out, and you're good to go there. And then finally, you have the version history. And again, this is pretty self-explanatory, but you can click into here, see what edits have been made from yourself or other team members, again, as you're collaborating on these automations. The last part is the workflow AI builder. And I'm going to make a separate video that dives a little bit deeper into this, but high level has released its new workflow AI builder. So again, hopefully the, the name is pretty self-explanatory, but it gives you the opportunity to utilize AI. So you can give a prompt and describe the type of workflow that you want to create within high level. And instead of going through and doing it step by step yourself, high level will actually help you out with that along the way to just make that a lot better. Now, another thing that I love about this, uh, let me go ahead and just kind of mess around with these different steps within this automation. Cause let's say I'm getting a little bit disorganized, right? This is a pretty long automation. I have different trees and uh, you know, I want to make sure that everything is falling in order. Down here in the bottom left, I love this format tree. I can actually click this and it will reorganize my automations for me. So I can just click this, boom, right? Lines them all back up. Oh, looks like it moved this uh, other one down here. So I probably just need to put this back down here uh, under the highlighted form. But just like that, now I'm all organized again, right? Boom, there's my automation, I'm good to go. And then I can continue to keep building. Finally, there are keyboard shortcuts for all the keyboard shortcut nerds out there um, like myself. So if you come up here into keyboard shortcuts, you can actually let me move my face out of the way, have all these different keyboard shortcuts uh, to zoom in out, whatever it might be, right? As you're building out your automation. So just some amazing updates to the high level platform and just again, high level is just so amazing of how it stays up to pace um, with these. I, just a quick side story here, but I remember for instance, with the AI agents, right? I was using a totally separate platform. It was called Closebot. Uh, this was before high level came out with any of their AI agents. And I had a connector and it connected into to high level and then boom, high level came out with that. And now I utilize high level for my AI agents. And then same thing here with N8N. Uh, I can't even say that, but 
Uh, I know a lot of people were switching over to them in order to build out their automations and now high level is matching them. So the final piece that I'll end with here is like what makes high level better, right? What makes high level better when it comes to some of the other automation builders out there? And I would say like the really key piece to this is everything's going to live in one platform, right? Because with N8N, you, you have your automation builder, but you might have to go in and connect a bunch of other tools, but within high level, you have your websites directly in there. You have all your reputation managements, your CRM, your contacts and everything else in between. So everything can just live in one simple platform. So high level is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and finish up this video, but I hope you really saw the true power behind the new automation builder in this quick walkthrough. All right, I hope you found that breakdown helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below as I try to go through and respond to every single comment. Also, if you want some additional resources on how to get started with High Level, I actually have a free course and a free community in the description below. Feel free to jump into that. It's a great opportunity to get one-on-one -on -one help from myself. I also provide weekly coaching calls where we can come together. You can ask any questions that you want, and we all talk about our experiences of how we're continuing to scale our businesses. So feel free to check those out. And as always, please leave a like, please leave a comment down below. And finally, please subscribe to the channel because we give all of this away for free. It really does help us out. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.